now inside the church and we can manipulate with high field terrain that we create and we can create directly from the node view or we can go and terrain and right here it says high field load from file so let's open this okay you'll notice right here we have our set as a terrain high field but i did not save as a tear file it's work much easier what i want to do is using this tff images so we can see how we can modify and work with them so we have a deposit float high field and where what i want to use this is a high field for this let's click open and you notice right here we created high field shader and we also created high field load right now okay let me save this one if we zoom out and we look what we have is our mountain created right here on the middle what i want to do with this mountain and we can go select the, this mountain i want to actually move it around and it seems can be easy so we can just kind of readjust position but i want also resize it to resize it and move it we need to add some additional um, properties and if we're going go into properties we go to high field operation you can find a lot of different options that we can do so the one of them what i want to do it is um let's adjust vertically because it's a little bit small for me so i want to have it taller Let's go create right here, select, and now in a properties, if we open, we can modify the highest point. So we can go ahead or multiply height or do other options that um, we want to do. So for this, I will just lay the highest and lowest point clipping same, but I'm going to bring this maybe around 1.2, so it will bring quite a bit higher. So the next what I want to do, let's, let's go back to high field operation and I want to go to resize. Overall, if you notice right now, the resize is not available from the menu. So we need to use it, these modifiers to adjust what we wanted. So inside the resizing, let's go back, click right here. You'll notice we have it in the meters and uh, pixels so I want to just take it and I want to reduce to maybe 1000 so and right here you can see we have it now smaller and nicer looking mountain yeah let's go to um, render a camera and in this moment I can actually preview let me stop right here is our mountain but I'm just looking through all and I do like but I do like how this angle with a mountain. So I'm going to select my high field shader. Okay. okay. Let's copy camera there. And we can just zoom out. Okay. okay let's go right here. And take this mountain in kind of moving little bit to here okay. so I'm just preview see how it will okay maybe bring a little bit closer Positioning again, we kind of readjusting, seeing how they will look better. Okay, let's go to render. Okay, as is render, you can see we have a nice um, mountain looking. You know, maybe this one a little bit too high. I'll try to readjust as well. Maybe we work a little bit on the blending options. We have some cover from our ground just maybe reposition a little bit higher and again this position may change depending on what we're going to do 
but in this case probably working um one more thing so let's go inside the high field shader and right here you can see the border blending so we can take this border and we can pop up quite a bit high and it will start blending this area even we have it quite a bit high resolution on our mountain the charging provide one of the best way from all the application that are using how the fractal details apply even to the high field map so you can go inside and you can add additional those details to the image so the blending quite a bit together as well right here we have a border blending so we can have it going very crazy and it will blend this area with the terrain a little bit better or we can just create a little bit less and I probably around this area sort of keep it without losing too much details on the bottom okay as well we'll just leave it fractal details as default except maybe you know what reduce a little bit on the noise so it will preserve some what original lines okay right here is, uh, we imported it's very basic shape and you can see with the high field adjustments vertical adjustment resizing and also remember if you need other operations right here you have a lot of different options that we can use it even you can merge resize move areas all of these so you can used all these high field manipulations with the imaging that you're importing so let's go in the next portion of tutorials we'll start adding maybe even more details to the terrain create something more interesting effects